Hello and welcome to the shop. Today we're going to look at this Will All IEG uh, billet Subaru block. Uh, the billet case for this block is manufactured by Will All Racing, located in beautiful Adelaide, Australia. Uh, coincidentally, my uh, 2006 GTO, which is sitting here, I was actually built right down the road from uh, them in Adelaide. And actually, my friend Martin from uh, Will All was the one who built me this twin turbo kit back in uh, 2008. So it's good to see more good stuff coming from those guys. So the case itself starts out as a pair of uh, 6061 billets. Um, and it takes about 50 hours of machining and finishing work to get the cases completed. Once the case is completed, this case was sent to IEG in Maryland, where they did all of the uh, sleeve machining and installation and all of the component balancing and installation. I um, have a, an STI RA short block sitting here, which I purchased a few months ago so I can see the difference between the RA and the non-RA STI engine. Uh, it turns out the only real difference is the piston, uh, which is an improved piston, but still a, a hyper-eutectic cast piston. Uh, the case is a 705 case, so it's the same as the normal uh, 2018 STI case. And it looks like next year in 2019, all of the STI engines are gonna be the same. Uh, and I'll use the new, the new RA pistons. So the special nature of the RA engine is sort of a, a one-year gig. If we look back over here at the, the billet block, um, you can see there's a lot more material on uh, the top of the case, really everywhere. Um, the case is thicker and there's a lot less material removed around uh, the webbing areas that are normally cast away on the stock uh, case. Uh, there is also one additional uh, clamp or bolting clamp here. There's five total instead of, or uh, one, two, three, four, five, six instead of five. Um, and the threads in the, in everywhere in the block are rolled instead of being uh, cut. Uh, and that adds additional strength since the grain of the metal follows the contours of the, of the uh, cutting instead of being uh, all straight. So the accessory holes are identical to stock. So all the stock accessories will bolt on just fine. Uh, the crankcase vent holes, there's uh, two of them, one here and one here, and they're uh, threaded, so you can use uh, AN fittings and then hook up a proper air oil separator. If you look at the side of the block, we can see the closed deck design, which closely mirrors uh, both the head gasket and the head surface passages. You can see the material along the side of the sleeves goes all the way down the bore um, and provides a lot more support than a stock case that's been machined uh, for sleeves. These sleeves were machined and installed by IEG during their build process and are Darton sleeves made from the DDI 2017 material, which is the same material they use in their uh, top fuel uh, motors. Uh, after installation, these machines were also uh, sleeved with a groove here for a sort of a locking fire ring. Uh, that is a solid steel ring that sits in the groove at the top of the cylinder and then seals with the head surface. Now IEG says this method in testing performs significantly better than any of the other techniques they've used for uh, head to uh, uh, cylinder wall sealing. Uh, the heads have been machined and so have the, so the block to do uh, 14 millimeter head studs, which are uh, huge when compared to the uh, 11 millimeter factory ones. This is an 11 millimeter ARP, so same size as factory versus the 14 millimeter. Uh, so it's a, a significant improvement in uh, overall clamping force um, for the head. Uh, so let's look at the bottom of the case here. So if you look at the bottom of the case, it's obviously a significantly more material available. Um, there's a second set of fasteners along the bottom. And these fasteners offer basically, you can see them here, uh, sort of a four bolt main pattern where there's now not just the main case bolts, but these secondary bolts that clamp the case together um, around the uh, main crank journals. Uh, and the oil pan baffle and pickup locations are unchanged. And all of the lower accessories will bolt on the same as, as a stock case. So it's, it's relatively easy to install uh, and use. On the uh, front, uh, the oil pump, the water pump connections and interfaces are the same. So all the factory timing belts, tensioners, all those things bolt up like stock. Uh, this one has a, a, a manly crank in it, which is a 4340 billet crank. You know, heat treated, nitrided, and balanced, all the usual stuff. Uh, the rods in this one are the IG two millimeter, two, two millimeter longer uh, tri-beam rods. And the pistons are the IAG 2618 material um, with the beefier 0 0.210 uh, wrist pins. And so overall, this is all the parts we have so far. Uh, I've got the heads here as well. Let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, so these are heads that I sent to IAG that have been ported 
uh, that had new valves installed, so Cosworth uh, one millimeter larger intake and exhaust valves, um, Cosworth 278 intake and 274 exhaust cams, uh, and obviously the typical uh, retainers and, and springs and stuff. Uh, I think in a big power super, you might usually go with a bigger cam than this, but we're going to give these guys a try first. I've been using them for a while, uh, and they've always worked pretty well, um, particularly in an ADCS motor where you can do the, the variable intake timing. So for the oiling, uh, I'm going to use this totally cool Killer Bee Motorsports uh, pan pickup and uh, baffle, uh, which bolt onto the stock location. Um, and I'm going to be using a factory 11 millimeter oil pump after some great discussion online about uh, the benefits of the different ones. Um, we're going to give the 11 millimeter a try. And as far as the oil pressure goes, I'm going to put two sensors on this block hooked up to a dedicated so there's probably a sensor here and one here um, to try to see if there's any pressure drop across there um, and those guys might hook up to a, uh, a logger that will run whenever the engine's running so i can record the oil pressure um, and rpm of the motor throughout its entire life and so we'll use that combined with doing some oil analysis of samples of oil taken uh, during the break-in and after that uh, to try to get an idea of how things are working in the block so this engine is going to go in my 2008 STI, which is uh, sitting over here, um, which is an 08 STI that has about 50, maybe 55,000 miles on it. So it doesn't get driven a whole lot. I actually drive it mostly in rain and snow. And we all know that rain and snow is a great use case for a thousand horsepower motor, uh, but that's what the wise man does. So uh, hopefully we'll have more updates soon.